Okay, mackerel season's not far away here in the Gold Coast. And another question we get asked a lot, especially around Christmas time when mackerel start, people come in asking how to set up downriggers. Um, first thing we tell them generally is to get rid of the wire, the wire sinks and stuff in the water. Um, if it gets loose, it you know tangles and coils, and it's a real pain in the butt actually. Most people nowadays run, well, braid, colour braid. I run colour braid on my downrigger, which is there. I've only got a 90 pound braid on it. People tell me it's too light, you should run 200. But I've been running 90 for years and I've never even lost a ball. 90 is very hard to break and they tell you that if it's the reef or something, it's gonna break 90. Well, I can tell you, braid's weak, no matter if it's 100, 100 150, 90, 80, if it hits reef, it's gonna break anyway. So I'd prefer to run a thinner braid, less drag in the water. But there is one thing I do to stop the reef. On my downrigger, well, I've got colored braid, and I don't use a counter, I use the colored braid as my counter. So every 10 meters it changes color. So I know if I'm 20 meters down, 30 meters down. And it's quite accurate, it's very good. You actually see it on a sounder usually. If your sounder's set up properly on your boat and your transducer, you can see your ball. And it's within a couple of meters, so it's quite good. But the thing I do different to everyone else is on the end of my braid, on the downrigger, got a bimini twist, a good old bimini to a double. Right, it's only a short double. And then, well, onto a swivel, obviously. But the thing I do is I put a rubber tube, it's about a foot long, off the swivel. And I do this for two reasons. First one is when you're out by yourself and you hook up or you're downrigger, you don't want your ball in the water because you can get tangles. It might get to the reef and snag when you stop. You just don't know. Fish could go around it. So when you're by yourself, it's quite hard. So generally when you're by yourself, you're winding up the downrigger, holding the rod in the other hand, trying to keep the line tight in the fish. You're winding up fast. You're winding up fast. I've got a bright orange tube there. So what, at the back of the boat, when I'm winding fast and trying to concentrate on the fish, this sticks out in the water like dog's balls. I can see this coming up, so I know how when the sinkers get near the boat. So I'll stop and just leave the ball just like a foot under the back of the boat if I'm drifting and trying to chase it or like catch the fish. So I use that so I can see it when the ball is. So I don't just keep winding like a madman thing, what the hell's going on. You see that coming, you know where the ball is, you can stop where you want to. The other reason I put this rubber tube over the end, okay, is what I was talking about before with the reef. Sometimes you're trawling around, if you're trawling like a snapper and stuff, you want to be fairly close to the bottom. And the reef's up and down, it's all, you know, different heights. So your ball sometimes, even by accident, does hit the bottom, hit the reef. So instead of having braid straight to the ball, which well, basically it is, and getting cut off, I've got this, it's a protector. It's got a few little nicks in it, but it protects the braid. Okay, so it's got two purposes I use it for, protecting braid, and I can see it when I'm running, running up, when I'm hooked up on a fish. Um, it's quite easy, like I said, it's just a double, a bimini twist double to a catch pour on a big heavy duty swivel, and that's just over the top. The braid's 90 pound, it's coloured, it's heavy 10 metres, it changes colour. I don't run a 10 pound ball, I run an 8 pound ball. I find 8 pounds more than enough for trawling on live baits and dead baits and even small like lures with the small bibs. Like in a flathead one, I those lures with small bibs, they work really well on like spotty mackerel, Spanish mackerel, and even snapper, those things when you trawl them. I trawl them around 25 to 30 feet behind the clip. So a long, it's a long way back and close to the reef when I'm chasing reef fish. And if I'm chasing mackerel, I usually have my ball and bait set at about five meters off the bottom. So basically, snap swivel straight to the ball there. I've got a crimped 150 pound uh, mono on there. And straight to, I run as a really small clip. I like, can't stand those big, heavy big clips. This is a quite a small one. I come with a downrigger. These downriggers come from the downrigger shop on, online. I've had mine for three years. It's never skipped a beat. They're a bloody great downrigger. And these clips come with it. And they're adjustable just with a screwdriver. Baits and stuff never pull out of this. These are a great little clip. And they haven't got a lot of drag. They haven't they're not those big, heavy, jitty things. And as you see, there's no wire on this. That's just mono and it's crimped. It doesn't break. And the next thing is when I'm putting my line, some guys do a twist and put it straight in, which is all good. 
But like I said, I'll, put, I'll set my bait back 25, 30 feet behind the boat. And then I'll put a rubber band around, rubber band around my um, line and put the rubber band in the and I'll usually run a number 16, which is fairly like we do a lot of trawling for marlin or white tackle. A number 16, it's a strong band, but it will break before you line. And that's a good size to use on here for mackerel and well, pretty much whatever fish you're trawling for. And do it that way. That way you're safe putting your line in here and damaging your line with a clip. Just use a band, rubber band. Um, and that's about it. This is a quick rundown on how I set up my downrigger. Hopefully over summer you'll see me using them. Hopefully I'll get out and use it. The last couple of mackerel seasons have been a bit slow. Hopefully this one will be better. And yeah, see how we go in a couple of months when the Spanish show up. Anyway, thanks guys. See you in the next video.